Nigeria in the lead. Four by 400 meter relay. This guy is running with girls. It's a mixed relay though, just so you know. But Nigeria in the lead, building up that gap. Come on, man. Come on, this is the third leg. Let's do it. Let's do it for Bobby. Let's do it for Bobby. Come on. Where's the Niger guys? Give it to the Niger babe. Where's she? There you go. Exchange. Niger babe, go. The men are coming. The men are coming. The men are coming. <laughs> Nigeria, the last Shiraka is the last. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, the girl don't go. Can she do it? Yetunde. There's Yetunde. Yetunde is being caught by the. Oh, she's, oh, this guy don't catch up. Oh, god damn it. Oh no. Come on, Yetunde. Yetunde. Come on. Come on. Come on, Yetunde. Yetunde. Where's this guy? Yetunde. 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 How about the third? Oh, fourth. Oh, fifth. Oh, sixth. Oh, seventh. Oh, last. Naja, come last. All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Bahashem Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations unto the Akiyam, the brothers, pushing this truth through the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To scatter the elect, they be scattered among the heathen. I say shalom, and I say shalom unto the few and faithful aqua, the few genuine sisters, you know, who will be in their husbands, listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam from the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp out of Trinidad and Tobago, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakako Dash. And this video is going to be entitled Gender Equality, a fabrication of the enemy. Alright? You know, because because you know this is this what you just witnessed there is the very fact that the woman is the weaker vessel and that the woman is not equal to a man. Alright? You know? Because you know you saw you saw your tune there, you know, they they you know and that's something you know um Nigeria try to shut you know they try to put the man to run with the woman to outrun the woman and make it you know faster to the to the to the, re, to the next relay right to hand over the baton you know but it still end up fail because woman is so much so much slower than a man all right they're so much slower than a man that all the men end up coming and still passing her or even even though she had a huge head start all right because she started to run off way off before them all right and this just this just proved the fact that I know what, what what we've been saying you know you know and, and this devil really is the one who set up you women for this fall to put you on a pedestal all right put we women on a pedestal that is you know you know for, for a great fall you know and yahweh bashim was the one who really was the one orchestrating this thing all right this was all the lord's doing all right and then let me play that let me play this back over again you know Four by four hundred meter relay. This guy is running with girls. It's a mixed relay, though, just so you know. But Nigeria in the lead, building up that gap. Come on, man. Come on. This is the third leg. Let's do it. Let's do it for Bobby. Let's do it for Bobby. Come on. Where's the Niger guys? Give it to the Niger babe. Where's she? There you go. Exchange. Niger babe, go. The men are coming. The men are coming. The men are coming. <laughs> Niger. The last Shiraka is the last. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, the girl don't go. Can she do it? Yetunde. There's Yetunde. Yetunde is being caught by the. Oh, she's... oh, this guy don't catch up. Oh, god damn it. Oh no. Come on, Yetunde. Yetunde. Come on. Come on. Come on, Yetunde. Yetunde. Where's this, this guy? Yetunde! 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 How about the third? Oh, fourth. Oh, fifth. Oh, sixth. Oh, seventh. Oh, last. Naja, come last. <laughs> Alright, so, so you saw for yourself right there. Alright? Last. Alright? So men and women are fundamentally different. Alright? You know, and, and um, that's something that, you know, that's, that's on a physical level, it's on a mental level, and it's on a spiritual level, all around. 
right? They, they are weaker than us, right? You know, and the the the. Let me just get a quick scripture here. The the um. The feminism. All right, the feminism that was created, really and truly, is the Lord on the left hand side who created feminism. All right, using using his sword, which is what the wicked, which is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, let's get Jeremiah, chapter thirty-one, and verse twenty-two. All right, um, how long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had created a new thing on the earth. A woman shall compass a man. So where yeah, Esau created this fem it is said that Esau created this feminism really on is the heavenly father on the left hand side. Alright? You know, and he did this as a shame for us, as the men of the Lord, the men of Israel. Alright, that our woman would be ruling us. Alright? And that's basically why the reason why. But 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 um physically speaking, ain't no way a woman woman want nothing with a man. Alright? Uh, this is um this Google study is showing that men are significantly stronger than women. It says gender differences in strength and muscle fiber character. Let's let's go through this quickly. Alright. You know, and in, in that race, in that race you saw there in the US witness, it looked like even Edomites were fa were stronger than Eve, were faster than Eve. I mean, not that I know they are Edomites for sure, you know, I don't want to be carnal about it, but from how it looks like, you know. Alright, so this abstract strength and muscle characteristics were examined in biceps, brachii, and vastus. Lateralis of eight men and eight women. Measurements included motor unit number, size, activation, voluntary strength of elbow flexors and knee extensors. Alright. Um, just jumping on here, it says the women were approximately 52% and 66% as strong as men in the upper and lower body. So you only half as strong as a man. Alright, in the upper body basically. And only two thirds as strong as a man, alright, in the lower body. Alright. You know, the men were also stronger relative to lean body mass. Alright, so the men were much stronger. Um, yeah, you all naturally have lean, um, less lean tissue. You know, men have more muscle proportionately. Jumping on here, it says the greater gender difference in upper body strength can, can probably be attributed to the fact that women tend to have a lower proportional proportion of their lean tissue distributed in the upper body. You know, they have more fat as it were, right? You know, so you know you hey you no long you not a man right you wouldn't create it as a man even strength comparisons in trained and untrained men if you go into this you'll find that even um men who are untrained versus trained female athletes the men were still stronger all right let me see if i can get this all right yeah jumping down about one two three four five lines it says it was hypothesized that while men are significantly stronger um Actually, let me see if I read up a little bit. Basically, men are significantly stronger than trained, untrained men are significantly stronger than trained female athletes. Alright? Alright, results indicate, jumping off a few lines, says results indicate that untrained men have greater upper and lower body strength than trained women athletes in terms of both absolute and relative strength. So, you know, this is what's going on here, you know, and, you know, it's clear. Alright, so that's, that's physically. Alright, um, let's jump to our scripture here now. You know, because hey, you, you, hey, the Lord created women and men for different purposes. Alright, you know, women not supposed to even go and fight in, in wars and stuff like that because they know they get, they get destroyed. Alright, so let me read this here. This first Peter 3 and 7 it says, Likewise, ye husbands dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, because they are the weaker vessel. And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Alright, but woman is a weaker vessel. And the um the uh the divine order, alright, in first Corinthians chapter eleven. Alright, let me read that. Um first Corinthians eleven and two it says, Now I praise the brethren that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. This is the apostle Paul, alright, speaking. But I would have you know that the head of every man is your Mashiach. So our head is, is the Lord, your Shai. And the head of the woman is the man. That's why a woman has to get a husband. Alright? And the head of her Mashiach is the Mosai. So everybody has a head. Alright? You know, and the Lord, the Lord made it that way for a purpose. Now, let me see if I get let's let's go into the Apocrypha and see, you know, see if equality stands stands up, you know, according to the scriptures. 
because the Lord didn't the Lord never made every, everybody equal you know the contrary to popular belief contrary to the belief of this world the philosophies of the devil all right which is Esau Edom of course this is Sirach chapter 33 and verse 10 I'll start at verse 10 um, it says um, and all and all men are from the ground and Adam was created of the earth so men and women were created from the earth right in much knowledge the Lord had divided them and made their ways diverse so first of all you know you know the Lord is a God of balance right male and female that's yin and yang so called yin and yang according to the, the Moabite um, doctrines right yin and yang male versus female light and darkness the Lord deals with with opposite he deals with balance so he creates a man as strong and a woman as being weaker all right you know a man has been masculine a woman has been feminine all right but this wicked devil basically is corrupting all that he's reversing the roles all right but he's all about confusion that dust that the serpent would set up serpent would reap and in genesis i believe the third chapter all right that's what he saw edom he saw a white man is pushing all right with his um his um abc people all right it says um Verse 11 it says, And in much knowledge the Lord had divided them and made their ways diverse. The Lord divided them. The different, right? Some of them had he blessed and exalted, and some had of them had he sanctified and set near himself. You know, this talk more the Israel versus the heathen as well. Alright? But some of them had he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. You know, so the Lord do the all that he created the wicked as well. Alright? He created the righteous, which is Israel, and he created the wicked, which is Esau Edom. All right verse, verse 13 says as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as he as like at him best so it's not what you want is what you have about or shai ordain you know and this thing about free will and you know self you know and you know all this wickedness and women thinking that you know they could be men all right is a is a is a philosophy of the devil all right so um Verse 14 says, Good is set against evil, so this is the balance I was talking about, and life against death, so the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and they are two and two, one against the other. So men and women. Alright? Men and women. Alright? You know, both must must um coincide you know, for reproduction, sake, you know, at the end of the day. But we're not equal, you know, and we're not the same. You know, and that's important to understand. When you understand that, you understand a lot, you know, right? You understand a lot, um, and you can see that in um, Genesis. I think in Genesis five and two, the Lord said, "You know, He created them male and female, right? He didn't create um, all males, you know. So women are not supposed to be like men, you know. You know, He didn't He didn't create that. He didn't create all females. He didn't create all males, right? He created male and female. So that's the balance there of the heavenly Father, right?" You know, and it's, it's that's so powerful, right? Men being more righteous than women. The scripture tells you that, all right? Men being more righteous than women. You know, and women, I wouldn't go too much in that, but women are the help of a man, all right? And really and truly, you know, that, that is how the Lord, that's just how the Lord made it. So physically, you know, the women are, in, are, are, are weaker than men, all right? Spiritually as well, you know, mentally as well too, because um, there's a reason why the Lord, wrote certain scriptures you know because of what's going on right now um even with um let me see if i can find this here all right yeah that, that article there all this nonsense um that they push in you know i said our rhetoric yeah they, they push a lot of things men are necessary stronger than women that is just um to deceive and that's the devil that's the serpent according to the scriptures it's clear now there was that article that was speaking about you know all the, the women going into into the um into the army right the military right different branches six branches of the military u.s military and they were saying that you know in combat you know it's proven that mixed mixed teams you know they got they have more injuries women get more fractures all these sort of things you know so physically you know they're not on the same level as men they need a lot more training and even so they still get injuries and damage um, and in teams don't don't answer successful and yeah, yeah, there's a reason why yeah you shy me get a scripture in jeremiah I wrote all these things everything's a four time written for all learning jeremiah 51 and verse 30 all right verse 30 what did it say what did it say the mighty men of babylon has fallen to fight 
they have remained in their holes their might have failed has failed they have become as women because women in in certain circumstances dire circumstances right life and death circumstances you know sometimes not even life and death sometimes just seen a, a, a snake they freeze up right they become as women they become afraid they freeze up you know they scream they bawl right they can't act all right so mentally they're not as strong as a man they have they have burned their dwelling places her bars are broken so women not as strong as a man and, and if a woman is um honest you know if, if your sisters are honest you you know that's true all right because in certain circumstances if it's having a frog you might call you only call on a man you'll call a man to help you all right so you're not as strong mentally as a man jeremiah 49 and verse 22 it says behold you shall come up and fly as an eagle we're talking about Yahweh Shai and spread his wings over Basra right which is which going into America modern day Basra is America which is the capital of was the capital of Petra of Esau Edom right America is the modern day capital of Esau Edom right and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman why do you say heart heart means mine in her pangs right in her pangs let me see if I can go into that word pangs Strong's H, 6887. Sarer. Sarer. Sarer to bind, to be narrow, to be in distress. Right? Be siege, be straightened, so go and drop position of difficulty. Like what's coming up here in Jacob's trouble. Right? What's coming up in this Jacob's trouble is going to be a time unlike you never seen. So these women are going to be in, in a bad state. They're going to be in a bad state. No two ways about it. All right, so you, you know where, you know where um, close to a man in terms of mentally. Now spiritually, the same thing. All right, spiritually, you know they say sin, sin, sin came from the woman. All right, basically that's roughly paraphrasing. I mean, because of how we all die. And this is First Timothy, chapter two, and verse eleven. It says, "Let the woman learn in silence with all subjection." All right, but I suffer not a woman to teach. Not to usurp authority over a man, but to be in silence. So the Lord um, ordained this as the divine order, right? Alright? Woman is not supposed to teach as well as pastors. They're going off. Women pastors, right? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, so he wasn't deceived into what? Into sin. But the woman was being deceived was in the transgression. So sin is transgression of the law, according to 1 John 3 and 4. So the woman was the one who was deceived. She was the weaker vessel because the, the what the devil does, you know, he... um. The serpent, right, which is which is what Esau Edom, because Esau Edom was that serpent in the Bible in the regeneration, which is true according to the scriptures. Generation is, is biblical, right? And the woman was deceived by the serpent. He didn't come to the man because he knew the man was stronger. So he went to the woman, you knowing that the woman would have a certain influence over her husband. Alright? So verse 15 says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness. With sobriety, so the woman, the elect woman, gonna be saved through childbearing, or the husband bearing children for the men of the Lord, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. If, all right, because really and truly, it's a man who saves a woman. You know, it's a man is the one who saves a woman. All right, let me let me get that in um, the apocrypha, the apocrypha in the book of um, book of two bit. So we're chapter 6 and verse 17, you know, so it's not by chance you together with a certain man, you know, or, or you're going to be paired with a certain man. That man was always destined to, to save you, right? Tobit 6 and 17, it says, and the devil shall smell it. This is when um, Tobit was being instructed by the archangel Raphael, right, to, to make a certain, um, a certain mixture, to make the demon fly, flee off of his, his soon-to-be bride, Sarah, right? So Tobit 6 and 17, the devil shall smell it and flee away and never come again more anymore. Again anymore, Slack here. But when thou shalt come to her, rise up both of you and pray to the Most High, which is merciful, who will have pity on you and save you. Fear not, for she is appointed unto thee from the beginning. So she was a, this is predestination. Alright? She is appointed from unto thee from so certain elect women are appointed unto certain men from the beginning. That's how it always was. All right, predestination. The elect were predestined to this truth. All right, and thou shalt preserve her. Who shall preserve her? Tobias, Tobit, Tobias. He was the one who had to preserve his wife Sarah. 
thou shalt preserve her. When they go into that word preserve, it says save, you know. Alright, one of these synonyms is save, preserve. Let's go preserve. Alright. Preserve. Alright, we jump down here. Protect, maintain, take care of, look after, save, safeguard, keep. Alright. You know, so so he he was destined to save her from what? The destruction and, and what we, what's gonna happen in this time. Alright? Jacob's trouble. Alright? You know? The the, the, the the plague, which is the ICBM nuclear missiles, the destruction that's coming in this time, the famine, the death. Alright? You know, so and thou shalt preserve her and she shall go with thee. Alright, go where? You know, you know that back then go with her, she went went back home with, with Tobias, but Go with the way, go to the kingdom, alright, eventually, alright? Alright, they are beamed up in those chariots, alright? Moreover, I suppose that she shall bear, bear the children, alright? You know, which, which goes back to what? It goes back to the scripture we just read in. 1 Timothy 2 and 50, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, alright? If they continue in faith and charity and holiness, so this is how you women going to be saved. You women can't save yourself. Alright, you must be saved by true a man of the Lord. And that's just how the Lord set it up. Alright. Let's go to Sirach chapter 3 and verse 9. Right? Sir Sirach um yeah, 3 and 9. Let me see if I have what I have here. And that one. Let's go to let's go to Sirach. There's another scripture I'm looking for. Sirach. Chapter 25, I think it's 22nd verse. Alright. You know, and this this in fact I'm not gonna go to the scripture first. I'm gonna go to another scripture because you know really and truly what's really going on right now. You know, a lot of the women they they um they pretty much they pretty much realizing that you know the, the feminism was a lie. Alright, you know, the spirit is really moving on these women now. You know, and, and you saw system is just falling because they're realizing hey. They're unhappy, you know, they they see what's going on, you know, they don't have a man, they don't have any family, they they, they feel empty, right? And they can feel it around, you know, that the ICF of one, one spirit is coming up on them, you know, where seven women will take hold of one man. It's coming up on these women. Alright? You know, and, and the scripture say Well in fact let me get it. Let me get um Let me get Isaiah. Let's read Isaiah 4 and 1. For those who don't never seen the scripture, Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. What reproach? The reproach for, you know, you know, you know, taunting, alright, uh, the many quarreling, being clamorous, uh, which is which is off according to the scriptures. The the reproach for, you know, not being a virgin, you know, when you met your husband, alright? You know, opening your quiver to every arrow, alright? Because women 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 these women in this time do it. This is a generation of adulterers, right? You know, and by women doing these things, when they break the law, they trespass against their husband, even if they didn't meet meet the, the real husband yet, all right? And they play the whole, playing the whole, whole with other men, all right? So that's very much reproach, you know. It's a, a, a and also for taunting and scorning the men, especially the men of the Lord. Is that a shame and a disgrace, all right? So and in that day, I see for one reason. In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, "We will eat our own bread." And wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. So that reproach, that disgrace, that that that, that haughtiness that you had, alright? You know, is is being brought to nothing. It's brought to nothing, you know. Let me um I just pull a video here for my elder, the elder here. This GMSC Love God. I'll play a little bit of this video here. Play to see for yourself. It's here. This um video is women will be humble in that day, the spirit of Isaiah 4 and 1. So you can go and check it out. This is GMS Seal of God and the elders. Alright. Hi guys. Like I'm so sad right now because I just came to like a realization these past few days have been so hard for me. Cause like you know how men say that women have toxic feminism and like you'll get to a certain age and like no one will want to marry you and no one will love you. Like, I feel like I've gotten to that point, guys. Like, I was so hung on to this feminism thing. And I missed out on marriage and on children. 
And now, like, I'm at a point in my life where, like, I'm so bitter. I'm so jealous of people who have marriages because they are so happy and their husbands don't even cheat on them. And, like, men are just the best. You know, like, right now is when I'm realizing, like, I can't do without them. To a husband, like, there's a lot of pressure around me, so if you can deal with me and propose, I swear 